Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced React WooCommerce Theme Development with WooCommerce REST API. In the previous video, we went ahead and rendered this nine post onto the blog page. And in this video, we're going to create the pagination. So let's go to this pull request and go to slash blog page components pages pages slash blog slash index. Okay. So over here, we need to add the pagination components. I'm going to copy that and close everything and just go to your blog index.js. Over here, we'll add the pagination component below posts. Now, of course, we need the pagination component. So let's create one. So I'm going to say components slash pagination slash index. That's the one. And this is a component. All right. So I'm going to copy this, go to our components under source, create a directory called pagination. Under that, we'll create index.js and paste it. Okay. So what do we have here? Um, we have a pagination component. Of course, I'll make sure this is imported on top. So pagination. There we go. So under our blog index.js, we have this pagination component imported. We're passing the page count. I remember from the previous video, if you haven't already watched, in the API, we are getting the um, page count like how many pages will be generated out of the post number of posts that we have in the database. So we are, they're going to be 12 pages. So we're just passing that here. Okay. So for the pagination component inside of this, what do we have here? We are passing the page count, the post name, and we get the current page number um, from the router query dot page number. So basically what we want is that when the user so ignore this uh, error message right now because we haven't really done everything just yet so what we expect is that if the user goes to slash blog slash page slash whatever the play page number is user should be able to basically get all the posts on that page number so if it's page number two he gets the next nine posts if he goes on page number three then he gets the next nine posts and so on and so forth so under the router, so when, when he is landing onto this URL from the router, we're able to get that, we'll be able to get that information as to which page number that is. And that's what we're getting over here. We're getting the current page number from the router, router.query.page number. Then we need to create the pagination links, uh, depending on the number of pages that we have. So for that, we'll create a function. So go back to the pull request, look for the create pagination function. And uh, we're going to put that inside of the utils pagination. So go to utils directory and uh, create a file called pagination. And just copy this function basically. And then just paste it here. So I'll explain to you what's going on here. We take the current page number, we take the total page number, and then we create the link like that. Because remember that when you have like large number of posts, you have like or 50,000 posts, it'll be really difficult to just have one, two, three, four, up to that many. So you need to have this dot, 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 and then you need to, you must have seen in the most of the websites, you know, you have this kind of structure for pagination. So to build this structure, we're using this function, uh, we get the current page number, you get the total number of pages, and we uh, build this array containing the indexes to be looped through to create the pagination. So initialize an array, called pagination array, you take the count of the dot items initially to zero, if there's only one page, return an empty array. Okay. Because if there's only one page, you don't really need to have a pagination uh, for that, right? So return an empty array. Push the two index items before the current page, if the current page minus two is less than z is greater than zero. Okay, we push current page min minus two. Um, and if current page minus one is greater than zero, then push the current page minus one, push the current page index item into this pagination array and push the two index item after the current page. If total page is greater than or equal to current page plus one, push the pagination um, array with the current page plus one and so on and so forth. So you can read about it. I'm not going to go deep into it. I'll take a lot of time for me to explain each step by step for this one. But this function basically generates this dot 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 at the beginning of the array only if the difference between the first and the second index item is greater than one. Okay. 
and this pushes at the end of the array if the difference if the difference of the last and second item is greater than two if the difference between the last and the second item is greater than two we remove the count of dot items from the array to get the actual indexes while checking the condition okay then push the first index item in the array if it does not already exist push the last item in the array if it doesn't already exist so we basically build that pagination array okay so once we have that um we're going to use that here. We've already imported that on top, so that we're good there. Then we have a div. We need a previous component, which will be like a button, uh, kind of a link or a button. Uh, I would say link that'll take you to the previous page. And then we're also going to need the next page. And in between that, we're going to build this um, link for like one, two, three, uh, and also this dot, dot, dot. So how do we do that? We loop through that array. So let's say we receive this array over here, this shape. We loop through it. And we basically say that whatever the post name is, let's say it's blog, in our case it's blog, so that's why you're passing blog in the post name. If you were building it for something else, we'll pass something else, let's say we were building it for like a custom post type and we were calling that like movies, then we'll pass that. That's why we're keeping it flexible for a future uh, progress, if you want to make it. And then, so this would be blog slash page slash page number. So this is what we're trying to achieve um slash block slash page slash page number okay um and then if the type of page number is a number which means if it's either of these numbers okay then we have a link and then inside of this we put the index we put the pagination link which you've just built and then we have an anchor tag uh, we have the page number equals current page number then we are going to just style it differently saying is active so that we get a different color like highlighted color if you are on the current page we put the page number there so if it's one it'll come one if it's two and so on and so forth otherwise if it's not a number let's say if this is not one of the numbers if it's dot 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 which is a string which is like this one then in that case we just use a span we pass that dot 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 in this case page number will become dot 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 and then we just give it a class name okay and then we have the next uh, one, the, the next link button. We are passing the current page number, page count, and the post name. Similarly, you have the previous one. So let's build these two components also quickly. So go back to the blog page, and then we'll say components slash next dot js. No, slash pagination slash next dot js so copy this go to pagination create a file called next dot js it's not that next dot js that we are using <laughs> it's just a component called next dot js don't confuse yourself and then similarly we'll do previous dot js so I'll build that and I'll explain it to you. Previous .js. Okay. So in the next uh, next.js, uh, next component, we use current page number, page count, and the post name, which is blog in this case. We done our uh, validation check. We do our validation check. After doing the validation, we see that if you're on the last page, then don't show the next link. So if page count is less than the current page number plus one. So let's say you are on the 10th page. So 10 plus one, 11. If there are 11 pages and you're already on the 11th page. So if you're on the last page, then don't show the next link. Okay, pagination link, we're just building your blog slash page slash current page plus one. Because if you're on the 10th page, the 11th page will become 10 plus one, which is 11. And you just use the link and then just put the next text over here. Similarly, you have previous. If you're on the first page, don't show the previous link. If current page minus one equals zero, which means let's say you're on the page one. So one minus one equals zero. That means you just have to return null. You don't really need the previous uh, link because you're already on the first page and there's nothing before first. Same thing here. You have pagination link and you're just returning uh, previous with a link to the previous page okay so that's all that's there uh, 
so you have everything here and then you have everything imported let's see if we need anything else no that's it so you go back see we have page 1 2 3 12 so let me give you a recap on this i'm going to do an inspect element and show you what's going on close everything start fresh just recap so first thing we do is we go to pages blog index.js okay over here let me get rid of this thing we have a pagination component. Where does it sit? It just sits below the posts. So this is your posts component, which is rendering the whole component here, all these posts, um, everything that you see here. Just below that, we are making sure our co pagination component sits. So this is your pagination component. What, we are passing the page count, like how many pages will be built. In this case, 12. And then go inside of this pagination component what's happening here basically getting the page number from the router uh, let's see if you go to slash block slash page slash one we get that information in our case assume that we are on page one because router doesn't have the page number yet because we haven't put page number here we're already on the page one that's why by default it's one that's why you're seeing one being selected as the current page number Create the pagination link so we get that array. I mean, if you want to really see how that looks like, let me show you quickly. Console, there you go. You can see that it looks like this. Let me zoom it in for you. One, two, three, dot, 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 12. You can see that's exactly what's been rendered here. That's your pagination link. Uh, you have the previous component where we're passing the current page number and the post name. So let me show you that. So that's, so you don't have a previous because you're already on the page one. So previous won't be rendered. Uh, will be rendered when you go on page two. Next will be rendered. So you have a next component. So that's your next. And you can see slash block slash page two. Next is being rendered. Um, as long as this is a number, it'll render these guys like that. One, two, three. The moment it finds it's it's a string which is dot 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 then it's using a span so here you go there's your span and page number become equals to becomes equal to the dot 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 then you have followed by the rest of the pages now what we don't have yet is the actual page to go to so let's build that in the next video all right so i hope you did like the video and i'm going to see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye